Does it make sense to consider snow volleyball? Should you train in the snow in the winter? When the weather is beautiful outside in the mountains and you are a volleyball lover, you might wonder. Now is the time to not only go skiing, but uh, to bring a volleyball and play snow volleyball. And that's what I tried and I'll share my experience with you. When we play volleyball, we play it mostly indoors. At least if you are talking about uh, longer term competitions like in the US or Europe. A lot of volleyball players also play volleyball outdoors or we play beach volleyball in the summer when it's uh, warm weather. But when there is a snow outside, we have opportunity to play snow volleyball. The question is, uh, should we be doing it regularly in the winter? I answer that in this video. Snow volleyball has been promoted in recent years by the FIVB or the European Volleyball Federation. The FIVB has a vision that one day snow volleyball would be played at the Winter Olympics. For now, several tournaments are played in winter, uh, mainly in ski resorts. Some of the footage uh, from these tournaments is breathtaking. You see beautiful panoramas and great rallies uh, by experienced uh, volleyball players. In addition, uh, snow volleyball is not only played in a classic six-player teams or two-player game like uh, beach volleyball. Teams of the three players uh, play against each other. Each player is warmly dressed, uh, but you won't see the classic uh, winter jackets. Rather, they wear functional clothing. Uh, also on their feet, uh, the players don't wear sturdy winter boots, uh, but soccer shoes and similar shoes so they can move around and not slip uh, on the snow. The Mikasa volleyball has also been specially developed uh, for snow volleyball, which is used uh, to play uh, snow volleyball uh, tournaments and the ball can be used uh, even when it's uh, below zero outside or if the snow is wet. As I mentioned before, the advantage of snow volleyball is that we can play or practice uh, volleyball even in winter outside in the snow. And in my opinion, it's uh, good to be able to play volleyball in different places, not only indoors. The sun will never shine in our eyes indoors, uh, the wind never blows in hall. So when we play outside like snow volleyball, we have to adapt uh, to these uh, different conditions. And every adaptation to new conditions uh, make us uh, better players. Snow volleyball also has the advantage that uh, you can play it uh, practically anywhere where is snow. I mean, uh, you can practice it uh, anywhere there is snow. Definitely one of the advantages of uh, snow volleyball is that the snow is soft, uh, you can fall on the ground and nothing will hurt after you fall. But snow volleyball also has its uh, disadvantages. The first and quite big disadvantage is the temperature at which we play snow volleyball. When it's snowy outside, uh, the temperatures tend to be around 0 degrees Celsius. Of course, uh, sometimes it's uh, well below zero, freezing, and the experience of uh, playing in the snow is not very positive. But other times we can play in the snow even when it's uh, 10 degrees above zero outside. Then we don't freeze uh, so much, uh, but on the other hand, uh, the snow is not very light, rather heavy, and falling on the ground uh, means uh, wet clothes uh, immediately. The low temperature outside uh, during snow volleyball is uh, especially unpleasant for the hands and fingers. Playing without gloves is uncomfortable after a while. And imagine you are blocking and a heart attack hits your frozen fingers. Not a pleasant thought. Playing uh, snow volleyball with uh, gloves is possible, but it takes away the feel of the ball. For other parts of the body, we can wear appropriate clothing that won't affect uh, our performance uh, too much. When we are indoors, uh, we train and play volleyball in temperatures about 20 degrees. And when playing volleyball outside or beach volleyball, the temperatures are much higher than on the snow in winter. Therefore, if you play a snow volleyball in uh, temperatures uh, around 0 to plus uh, 10 degrees, expect your hands and fingers to get cold after a while. The second disadvantage of snow volleyball is the winter weather. It's not always uh, good weather, clear and windless in the winter. You can count on being able to practice outside every other day and uh, spend two hours on practice uh, similar to when you go indoors. Also playing in the snow when it's windy and uh, snowing heavily outside is not very pleasant and we usually get tired of it after a while. Well, and in terms of uh, matches and tournaments, uh, you won't have uh, many opportunities uh, to play. Sure, you can practice in the snow a few times, uh, but you won't be able to play a few tournaments over the winter. Like in the case of beach volleyball or even a whole season of matches like with uh, indoor volleyball team playing some uh, competition. 
there just aren't enough uh, events and uh, tournaments in snow volleyball to compare your performance uh, against other teams. Additionally, I haven't heard of any player or team dedicated solely to snow volleyball. But the negatives don't have to stop you from trying snow volleyball. That's why I have some basic tips and advice for you. Wait for good weather is my first piece of advice. Don't try to play snow volleyball at all costs to go out and play snow volleyball when it's minus 10 outside or snowing heavily. Don't play snow volleyball in snow that is too deep. You will be struggling and your movements will be quite restricted. Or conversely, if there is only 5 cm of snow outside, put snow volleyball out of your mind too. This in turn puts you at risk of slipping on the snow and injuring yourself in the fall. Also, don't play snow volleyball in a traditional winter jacket like we do. You won't be able to move properly in such a jacket, you'll soon be very warm, you'll start to sweat and it's not easy to play bump in a winter jacket. Don't play snow volleyball in warm gloves. You won't have a feeling in your fingers in those gloves, not to mention the, when you attack the ball. Also, it's not really advisable to play in ski boots if you are resting after skiing. Ski boots are absolutely inflexible and moving around in the snow and playing volleyball with them is just not possible. You can see that in our movements. Rather use winter boots or soccer shoes in which you can move faster. So, snow volleyball is undoubtedly an interesting sport from a spectator perspective if you watch the matches and the great rallies from tournaments. On the other hand, from the perspective of actually training and playing in the snow on a regular basis, snow volleyball doesn't offer as much. You can do it all the winter long because weather won't be always good for outdoor training. You won't find many opportunities to play matches in snow volleyball unless you are a professional volleyball player. On the other hand, snow volleyball can be an interesting addition to your volleyball training indoors, outdoors or on the sand. It's great fun if the weather is nice. I would definitely recommend each of you to try snow volleyball so that everyone can see what it's like to move in the snow, what it's like to play overhead pass without gloves in low temperatures, try pepper maybe in a ski resort. And if you find a suitable snow volleyball court and arrange a match uh, with uh, friends or teammates, you are in for an extraordinary experience uh, that you'll be talking about for a long time. So I hope uh, that you find uh, my experience, advice and tips on snow volleyball useful and that you will try snow volleyball as I did. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.